something. Eddie and OJ said that after Saturday's game, that the team leaders kind of got together and had a meeting. What, what was the, the message in that, in that meeting? We just need to have more attention to detail and be more consistent on and off the field with our preparation. I think a lot of people on, on, on the outside would say, you know, four touchdown win. What, what's there to be upset about? But how does this program get you guys to buy in to not watching the scoreboard but playing to your own standard? I mean, we, we just break down the film. I mean, the scoreboard doesn't really show how the game went. And we, we did not play well. There was a lot of busted assignments, a lot of middle errors that we just can't afford to make later on during the season. So that's kind of why we just feel like we didn't play good Saturday. Jonathan, in terms of noise, do you prefer to play on the road? And I guess how much easier is it for you and uh, you know the other guys up front to get after the quarterback on the road? I really want to say it's a big difference defensively. I mean, I love playing in front of Brian Denny. I love playing on the road. I mean, that doesn't really affect me. At the end of the day, it's 100 yards long, so that really is not a super big factor, especially when we're getting after the quarterback. What kind of challenges does Ole Miss's offense present to a defense? They're, they're definitely um, explosive. They have a bunch of athletes around the board, a lot of great freshmen who are playing and producing well for them. So it's going to be a good challenge, but I feel like we're going to be well prepared, and we're excited for the opportunity. Do you feel you have a chip on your shoulder having – I don't feel like we have no chip on our shoulder. Shoulder. I mean, our season isn't defined by one game. So, I mean, well, I mean, we're just excited. I mean, they're the next team on our schedule, so the next team that has to get it. After uh, the game on Saturday, Ryan Anderson said that although you guys got some sacks, he still didn't feel like you were creating enough pressure. Do you feel the same way? I, I definitely agree. I feel like we can always, um, you know, produce more pressure. And a lot of times, he's right, we didn't get a lot of pressure. So, I mean, we're always striving to be better. And we, we, we're just going to look at the film and break it down and see what we can do to get better as a team. Do you have a goal, uh, like a number of sacks y'all want to get in the game? I mean, it's always nice if you can get 10 sacks a game. Realistically, realistically that's probably not going to happen, but that's kind of the goal we try to strive for every game. Two more. How do you feel, uh, I guess, the defense is really progressing after the first two games? And really I feel like we're definitely becoming more consistent. You know, we're, we're starting to mesh better. Our communication has increased so much since the beginning of the season, and that's kind of the biggest thing going into this third week is communicating. Does the approach defensively change at all when you have a quarterback like Chad Kelly who does have a track record of making big plays when he's just kind of out of the pocket and improvising? Um, not really. I mean, we're going to try to rush him the same way. We just got to have more discipline when we're rushing. So that's something we'll work on this week. But game plan-wise, um, we don't feel like anything's going to change. Just the, uh, the last two years, how much is that serving as, as a motivator for, for guys this week? Uh, it's a big motivator, especially after we played last week. You know, guys I know we got to come in. We got things, a lot of things we need to work on, and everyone needs to improve individually and also as a team. When, when you look at the scoreboard and see a four touchdown win, but all the talk after is we need to do this better, we need to do that better, it, it's, is that tough sometimes? How, how do you guys totally buy into that? Uh, it's, it's really, it, it's kind of tough, but you know, we didn't play the Alabama uh, football game we were supposed to play Saturday, so I mean, it, it, it was a tough game. I mean, you know, we didn't come out and we didn't play our football we needed to play, and it started in practice. You know, practice was where it was it needed to be, where it was, uh, needed to be last week. So we just got to come out, and everyone just have to have their mind on right and ready to go. As the week's kind of progressing, I mean, is there a certain <clears throat> point where you guys can almost start to tell how things are going to go on Saturday as far as your performance? Uh, yeah, I mean, it actually starts today. You know, we got to come out. We got guys, you know, older guys. We, we came together after the game and we talked to each other and we talked to the office leaders and just just told everyone what we needed to, uh, needed to be held accountable for and just what we need to work on and things we need to improve on. Is there a chip on the shoulder, you think, for, for the defense in particular, given the, the kind of numbers that Ole Miss put up last year? Uh, not necessarily. I mean, every game is the same. You know, they, they beat us two years in a row, so, I mean, we're going to come out, we're going to play our best football and just get back to Alabama football. What is difficult with preparing for Chad? So I guess it's his ability to run and different things. You've got to have high discipline, I would guess. Well, I mean, he's a great quarterback. You know, one thing about Ole Miss, the offense, they come out, they come out fast and just really got to have your eyes in the right spot and really uh, play your keys and just, just focus up.